I've never been the one to say things like, oh, yeah, you know, the industry is here to ruin black lives. And But I swear, the more I begin to look at life from such a broader view, I, it kind of hurts my feelings that it's the truth. And it's just sad to see that they are really trying to slut black women out. All they want us to represent is our bodies. They sexualize us. And the only thing they want us to put out is our bodies. Our sexiness is everything is about our bodies, our looks, just the sexual energy. It's like when it comes to the rap game, you don't really see women trying to focus on their craft or lyrically, you know, progress or get better. It's like as long as they can just sing A, B, C's. It's easy as one, two, three. They'll find a way to twerk to that. They'll get that 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 first catchy line off and everything after that is just twerking and booty and tits. And it's like, it's so overwhelming at this point. Like you can tell that nobody really respects the black women if it's outside of their body. Like, why do you think Kamala literally had Meg the Stallion of all the women that could have came and represented us as black women? You got Meg up there twerking at a political event. Like you can tell they're taking us as a joke, just using us as puppets, just using us for their own monetary gains, man. It's like, if we keep this up, <laughs> this is not going to end well for black women. Like this is, this is beginning to become insane. We are like sex objects, nothing more, nothing less. So let's get into who literally inspired me to make this video, Sexy Red. As you guys have heard me say probably numerous times, I am a Sexy Red fan. I have listened to Sexy Red for quite some time now. I find her songs, though raunchy, to be very catchy. And as me being an adult woman, I think it is okay for me to listen to her music. But I'm not going to take away from the fact that a lot of what she says in her lyrics definitely sets black women back quite a bit. This sets black women back quite a bit. That was the whole premise of the beginning of the video for me. So if it sets black women back to what? What is the black women today? What they do today? What it set us back to when? When were black women this way? It's not like black women were this way, they became classy and then became this. They were never this. This is what they become. So there's no setting us back. This is what we have become moving forward. See, now I'm going to go ahead and give what my true feelings is about this whole situation. You can let me know what you think. But I think the thing that's happened with black women is number one, all they had to do is convince us, our community, that black men weren't needed. Okay? Once that happened, that allowed our families to fall apart, that allowed black women to see that they have reached this upper echelon, Ever since we heard the I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T, do you know what that means? She got her own heart. Ever since that stuff started coming across, obviously decades later, decades later, it became a disgrace. What we now see in the black community is women who are held to not even, they don't even have a high bar. Let's be honest with ourselves. Are black women held to a high standard? Simply paying the bills makes you a boss bitch. Simply living life makes you a boss bitch. S having a kid out of wedlock, for some reason, that takes you from just a regular woman. Single motherhood in the black community is, oh my God, you the real MVP. And the more we continue to see this rise in single motherhood being great, uh, a black woman gets a degree in anything they're high, they held to a higher uh, standard. I'm a PhD. No matter what they do, it just seems like they just continue to rise above us because they think they're so much better than black men. Even though black men, we already know, still statistically make more on average, it doesn't matter because the world wants us split apart. So what you are continuing to see is these black women continue to shake their booties, continue to talk about raunchy stuff. Now, she had mentioned Sexy Red. Why did Sexy Red really blow up? Now, we've already had women, like she said, Little Kim, the Nicki Minaj's, the Cardi B's, now the Ice Spices, all doing the same damn thing, shaking their ass for some change. Okay? And we all know what it is. But now we got Sexy Red, who took it to another level. 
in my opinion. Because now she talks about booty hole brown, Gucci juice, gonorrhea. She even made a music video in the hospital after being another mother to another baby. Just being a baby mama all over again. But why does this continue and continue to push? Why is Sexy Red seen as the top for us? Why is Cardi B, Cardi B seen as the top for black women? Megan Thee Stallion, the top for black women. Sexy Red, Ice Spice. Ice Spice is seen as the top for the younger black women. Well, you know why? Because that's what they are seen as. See, black women, when they think when they shake their booty out there and they do all this stuff, talk bad about men and all that stuff, they think that that's making them look better to other communities. No, you're seen as a sex object. That's all you will ever be, honey. In case you forgot, that's what all you will ever be is a sex object to these men. When, when men think about black women, what do they think? They literally think animal. I'm sorry. I, had to, I know I had to say it. I had to say it. Seen as animals. Just something to get get it in, get it out. Because what do the black women do? They they the freaks in the sheets. They do anything. They give you that sloppy toppy, as they would say. Uh, throat goat. What community is throat goat known as? Why do you guys think that the hot tua girl became so big? Why do you think Haley Welch is now getting all these 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 things coming across? You know why? And I'm, I didn't say this before in my other videos, but let's be honest. If a black woman had said exactly what Haley Welch has said, it wouldn't have blown up. And you know why? Because that's how they already see us. That would have been a normal thing. Throat goat is a normal thing for us. Okay? All the sexual things that come with being sexual is normal for black women. So if a black woman had said hock to it, they'd be like, 304s. They would have said whore. They would have said, this is what happened to our community. They wouldn't have cared because this would have been seen as a normal thing for a black woman to say. But you took a white, blonde, country girl, and she said something about being a throat goat, and it just blows up everywhere. That's what really happened. Let's be honest with ourselves. We took that and said, look at this pure, white, country girl saying such, such debauchery. Let's, high, let's hold her high. Let's give her millions in a podcast. A black woman says that, nobody cares. That's normal. That's everyday stuff. They, they, they thought, so we already knew black women. That's all they knew. You know, here's something that's really missed most of the time. Is people forget how much the adult industry plays into this. All those little films that you go on to www.blankityblank.com. When you go to those websites, you know how the women are looked at. How are the black women always looked at? Animals. If you remember that young black woman from a while back who said she got, I think she said she got paid $3,000 to be on ghettoblank.com, if you know what I'm talking about. For $3,000, they humiliated this girl. You know why? You know why it was okay? You know why a lot of people came out and said, good for her. Because they don't, because black women aren't seen as much more. They're seen as ghetto. They're seen as just something to play with, toy with, and discard. And our community has died because of it. Now, we're going to talk a little bit more. But I will say this. Now, I know some people say they want to give up, let the black community go. These women are thoughts. Fuck them. Let's move on. Passport bros all the way? I disagree. Now, I know it's hard not to give up. But my mother's black. My sisters are black. My cousins are black. I have family members that are black. It can't go this way. But the question is, how do you get out of this? Well, we got a long talk. I want you to sit down. Get you some popcorn. Maybe even some caramel popcorn. That's good on a nice day. Does it not bother you that we are continuing to get pregnant by men that will never marry us? Does it not bother you that we have the highest rank in being single mothers in America? Does it not bother you that non-black women are getting married first, then having children? Does it not bother you that our women are purposely 
having babies with boyfriends rather than husbands, putting our lives at risk to give birth to babies that were made by men that are not married to us. When I look into the entertainment industry and our society in general, we are the main sex symbols. We are standing in line with other women wanting to know if some rapper would smash or pass us, not date us, not marry us, but smash us. And to make matters worse, a plethora of these women are in college, they have businesses, some of them are even mothers. Out of all hobbies that you can have, this is what you do on your free time. At this point, we can't even blame society anymore for degrading us. We are perpetually accepting less than the bare minimum. We also have to accept that we're always going to have to work double times or triple times harder to prove ourselves worthy in this society. And that's because of the lack of respect, morals, and dignity that we have instilled in ourselves as black women. And I say this all to say, is with the portrayal of this in media that we're seeing every single day, it sets black women back further and further. And then you also have black men that speak down and poorly on black women. This is something that is pushed in media a lot too. When you see athletes and male podcasters speaking down on black women and saying that black women are undesirable, it makes other people believe that black women are undesirable when that is the furthest thing from the truth. It's almost as if they make it seem like loving a black woman out loud is embarrassing. Uh, Bria. Mm. I mean, a Bria, I ain't never like looked at a, a dark skin and was like, she kind of, you know what I'm saying, right? She pressure. She she right to be a dark skin. Like she bad. All right, a Bria, bro, you not ugly, you know what I'm saying? I rate a Bria like her. But I, um, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, don't, I never talked to a dark skin. Yeah, me too. That's what I'm saying. Like, a Bria, she not ugly, bro. A Bria, you can get like a... I give a Bria eight. I, I was going to say eight. Eight. But like, she not ugly. It's just that I, I never seen myself talking to a dark skin before. But I ain't never seen no good looking dark skin before. Are you a new dad? About to be. That's what I'm saying. So this is your first baby? Yeah. What's going through your mind right now? Nervous. I ain't going to cap. But I'm more like, I, like I want to see what... The baby look like because you don't think it's yours no i know it's mine <laughs> but it just is it's different races so i like i want to like see what he gonna come out to look like what do you want the baby to look like mm. more mexican or more, uh, well it's gonna look more black regardless no it's not all right you see nato son oh, he look mexican? they like they yeah. like well you gonna be able to tell like they mix with black but maybe to be dark or do you want your baby to be light like why because i'm already dark I respect it. When it comes to dating and your personal preferences, is no one bats an eye. When women say I want a man that's six feet tall, makes a certain amount of money, blah, 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 those are considered preferences. But if I say, hey, man, I don't date black girls like that. Oh, God. You hate black women. How dare you? You know what I'm saying? It's exactly. ridiculous. My mom's black. Your mom's black. Yeah. My sister's black. Like, bro. We just have a preference. If we hated black women, would we bring African Amer American women and black women on the show? Okay, but the, 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 the question. Let, let, let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. Please. We would not if we if we had a, a issue, an issue with them. Our dating preferences are our preferences. Just like you have the prerogative as a woman to date a man that makes a certain amount of money, a height, income, whatever it is, no one bats an eye. We are free to choose who we want to hook up with and date. Like, what the hell? Like, there's nothing wrong with having preferences. I want to read this article that this woman wrote when she spoke on black women feeling undesired and how she is basically done with black men. I want you to really pay attention here. Because I love it how the, the narrative sometimes always goes that it's, 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 us, it's us that have made black women undesirable. Now, I'm going to defend black women. However, this is where I have to push back because it's not us black men that are saying that black women are undesirable. You have made yourselves undesirable. Wendy James, she made this post June 19th, 2014. And she said this, why do you like black women? They wear weaves and their attitudes stink. You must be crazy. This statement was made by a young black man after my white friend expressed his interest in dating black women. The comment didn't deter him and he is still in search of his beautiful black queen. Unfortunately for the black male, his comment did not offend me. I smiled at him and quickly changed the subject. I am accustomed to black men denigrating black women and have come to expect it. I used to love black men so much that I dated them exclusively for a long time and then I began to notice something. The love is unlikely to be returned. Initially, it began 
and with celebrities. Many black male celebrities are married to or dating non-black women. Names like golfer Tiger Woods, basketball champ Kobe Bryant, and billionaire and music mogul Dr. Dre, who could contribute significantly to the black community and to black families, have chosen not to. They avoid black women like the plague. There is nothing wrong with interracial dating, but the level that black men do is distressing. It's as if they believe that dating white women will make society more accepting of them. In the UK, you would be fortunate to find a black footballer or even a black actor with a black wife. They loathe their women so much that they even slander them in front of their white companions, much like the black male I mentioned in the opening paragraph. The hurtful and humiliating comments appear to be a dismal attempt to ruin the self-esteem of their women. I am not intimidated by black women, laughed my blue eyes a blonde haired friend who was currently dating a black Premier League player. My boyfriend would never touch one. They are not very attractive. Her comment did not offend me. We have been friends for a while and are quite open with each other. I would rather have a friend who was honest to my face than behind my back. To be honest, I find it difficult to keep track of the number of white women I have met who are certain that their black partners would never want black women. They are better looking with amazing skin and long hair, Stephen, another friend of mine remarked when I probed him on why he always dates white women. I want my children to be pretty. Growing up, my mother used to tell me that there is nothing worse than loving a man who does not love you back. It is rare to find a black man who loves black women. They dislike them so much that they refuse to marry them leaving 70% of black women single. Additionally, there are more single black mothers than women of any other race. Black men have contributed significantly to the negative way the world views black women. Three years ago, I decided to stop waiting for a good black man. There was a 90% chance that he might not want me anyway. My dark skin and coarse hair is enough to send him running. So I read this post primarily because if we're being completely honest, let's take stats outside of this, though the stats speak for themselves. When you just walk around outside, you see mostly black men dating outside of their race. Now I- Bullshit. Bullshit. I'm gonna give you a man who is going to explain perfectly, perfectly to you that that's not true. I want you to hear what this young lady just said. That most black women, most black men are dating outside. Most black men are dating outside of their race. Hear it again. A woman who's supposed to be, who cares about our community, just blatantly lied and said that most black men date outside of their race. Hear it again. That way we don't have to be confused. If we're being completely honest, let's take stats outside of this, though the stats speak for themselves. When you just walk around outside, you see mostly black men dating outside of their race. Now I feel self-hatred definitely plays a major role in this, but I also feel media plays a very major role in this. <laughs> Sorry. I truly believe that your, your, your end results are gonna be the It's over. It's over for you. Cause if you believe those lies, then that's what's gonna happen to you. Because we have a black man who's actually out here doing the damn thing, telling us the real truth. They put black asses up. They don't want y'all. First of all, who is they and who is y'all? Cause by they, if you mean men of other races and by y'all, you mean black women, you are entirely 100% completely fucking wrong. What you mean they don't want us? They want the blackest woman they can find. They don't want that watered down shit like black Americans like. They don't like that mixed crap. They want a real black woman. They want dark skin, 4C type hair, but she wear the wig and the sit back a little bit and the texture don't match. She got the wig from Halloween City, Party City, some seasonal shop. I ain't gonna even do Amazon like that because Amazon got good hair. I don't even know where they find these types of wigs at. But that's the kind of black woman they want. What you mean they don't want us? Oh, and then y'all say, well, we're not feminine enough. Well, we only ain't feminine enough because we with y'all. Did y'all ever think about that? Mm -hmm. Now, see, I am a completely 100% single mother do everything myself I ain't got a dime of child support since i left my ex-husband so i am a completely single mother and carrying everything on my own but i think i have mastered the art of still being feminine however that is hard to do i'm a little bit older and i think that's how i've you know been able to calm down a little bit but you can't carry all the load as a woman and be feminine y'all asking for too much what you mean they don't want us who is they and who is us and who is y'all because you now ain't talking to me black women this is embarrassing. I don't know this content creator. I was not following her. I was tagged in this video by one of my followers. So I decided to respond because this has to stop. You guys give white men too much credit in what they actually desire from you. 
If you don't know, the latest U.S. Census available data in 2022 indicates that about 0.5% of white men in the United States are married to black women. Out of the four major racial categories, white, black, Asian, and Hispanic, the white man, black woman marriage pairing is the lowest among all pairings. Now that you know the statistics, here's a little advice for all of the black women who would like to marry out. Number one, start asking white men what you need to do and or change in order to increase your marriage numbers with them. Because currently, when white men do marry interracially, they marry Asian or Hispanic women. So it'll be wise of you to ask those women what they're doing to be more appealing to white men for marriage. Number two, change your wording slash verbiage and raise your standards when dealing with white men because simply dating one of them for a short period of time is not going to increase your marriage numbers. You all need to start requiring more from white men instead of a couple of good dates that you can post on social media and sex, which is what they're looking for. Hopefully this helps. And if you wanna know more about what white men truly think about black women, I encourage you to read a book titled The Dating Divide. Here's a quote. Given that black women get very little interest from white men, experiences like Deborah suggest that paltry interest may be driven by prurient interest. White men we interview confirmed the notion that black women were both highly sexual and unsuitable for long lasting relationships, end quote. After reading this, you'll understand why you need to require more from white men. Lastly, this has nothing to do with black men and everything to do with what white men want from you. So start engaging with them in their social media spaces and ask them what they want from black women looking to marry interracially and not just date. And lastly, if it wasn't for a black woman, Mildred Loving, and a white man, Richard Loving, we wouldn't be able to marry interracially. You all started this, so now it's time for you all to figure out how to finish what you started, if that's what you really want. And before I forget, here's a couple of fun facts for the black community. According to the Pew Research Center, from an article that was just published by them in 2024, reporting on the 2022 marriage statistics, black men in the US are more likely than black women to be married at a 36% clip, as opposed to black women's 29% clip. And also black men in the US are more likely than black women to be married to someone who is not black. Now, I wanna stop it there just for, just for a quick second. So, I know you guys can't see it well, so let me fix that for you. So here. Now, you see black men are married to other black women, 79%. The black men who, have, who marry women outside of their race, 21%. This is just outside of our race. Not white women. Outside of our race, period. Black women, 87% married together, 13% outside of their race. Now, that woman said that most of the time when you mostly see black men, you see us with non-black women. 79%. 79%. That's not close to most. That's nowhere close to most. It's a fucking lie that most of us black men are dating white women. And let alone marrying. And I don't even care about the dating. Because I'm going to go with marrying. Because you statistically dating, I mean, that could be at any moment. I mean, somebody could be dating multiple people at the same time. Look at that. Black men at a 21% clip, black women at a 13% clip, which means that one out of five black men, married black men, are married to a woman of another race. Do with that information what you see fit. So again, this is not to discourage any black woman from trying to find love wherever she can. However, I do want you guys to know the truth. And giving white men this free promotion and begging for their attention is not going to help. You guys need to start doing your research, understand what white men want if that's what you want to do, and you need to go to their spaces. Again, this has nothing to do with black men, okay? So your focus should be solely on white men. Leave black men out of this because we're good, okay? Media man out. You know what? I was gonna be cool. I was gonna be relaxed, but you know, everything takes. Let him cook. Let I'm him cook now. Let him cook. I said, let him cook.
<sighs> Things change, cause now, I, cause now I see red. I see red. So let's talk about this girl saying that black men are mostly dating white women, even though black men marry black women at a higher rate than they date anybody. See, what's going on, Miss Tony? And here's the problem. Now, I can say black women have been pushed as sexual objects. We just read a poem there that reason white men don't want to date black women because they're seen as sexual and they're seen as undesirable. Now, some of that's pushed by the media. Some of that's pushed by social media. That's pushed by, yes, there's some people who just don't want to see us together. But here's the fucking difference. Well, you know when black men were always told that we were in jail? All of us black men are in prison. All of us black men are committing all this stuff and stuff. What did you see happen? We turned the tides. We started bringing good black men to YouTube. Black men such as Media Man. Black men such as Kevin Samuels. Rest of his soul. We have so many good black men that have made such good, great channels. Okay, the lead attorney. All these people who are making great channels and showing a different side of black men than just being a hood and thug. But what do we still see when it comes to black women? They won't change a fucking thing. Okay? They they go right to, uh, black, women, black men ain't shit. I'm a PhD. I did an interview with black women, if y'all remember. I made the video. And when I put it out, I was talking to other black women. And you know what they said about us? I didn't provoke them. I didn't come out and say anything. All I gave them and said, why do you think? I said, why do black women have such a disdain for black men? And you know what I got? I got niggas ain't shit. And then I asked another group of women that same thing. I said, why does it seem like niggas ain't shit? And what did they say? Because it's true. So even when I talk to black women and you hear how I speak, I was wearing a tie and everything. I came out talking like a complete square. Not what up, shouty. I came out talking like a squeak, complete square because I'm from the suburbs. And what did I get? Huh. I still got, well, we ain't shit. Not black thugs ain't shit. Not black criminals ain't shit. Not black football players ain't shit. No, it has to be black men all in all. And you know what the problem with that is? Is that's what we're seen as. Nothing. Some black woman has one bad experience with some black man and we're all not shit. Because y'all have been brainwashed to believe that black men aren't anything. We're not important. We shouldn't. Y'all have such a high value above us. You fucking have three, four, five, six baby daddies. Doesn't matter. You're still a queen bee. So as much as I would like to say that the media has made it this way, fuck it. You're... Black women, y'all are smart enough. And there's enough, there's some great black women who are trying to fight against this. But it's you black women who want to stay stuck. It's the same thing we were saying to black men for so long. Where black men were like, why can't we see the topics? Because like you, you, you're acting foolish. You let them brainwash us into believing that we all got to be thugs and gangsters. We all got to keep it real, G. And so we started saying, black man, let's change it. Let's start educating ourselves. Let's start being businessmen. Let's start making change from the inside. Because as long as we ain't at the top in anything, we will never be able to change what people think about us. So black men started making a change. And then one black man goes out, marries one white woman, and bam, it's all over. Then black women, y'all can do the same. There's so many great black women out there refusing to let this lie be true that black women are just sexual idiots. I don't believe that. But y'all got to think for yourselves. Y'all got to stop listening to this bullshit-ass music. Y'all got to think and stop shaking y'all's ass every time y'all get a chance. Anytime you go to a restaurant, <laughs> y'all remember that happening a few years ago? Black women getting on top of a table and shaking their ass and then they got kicked out and said that black men ain't shit because they decided to go there and they were playing some house music, some dance music, and these black women started shaking their ass and they blame the black man for the type of music is played. Damn it. If somebody, if I go to a restaurant and they playing some, I swear, if they playing the best 
my favorite music that I love dancing to. Am I gonna hop on the tables and shake my ass? Am I gonna get on the table and start? Am I gonna get on the table and start dancing? No. Even if the music is great, if there is no dance floor, I'm not dancing. But they brainwashed y'all into believing that y'all have to do this. And it's so frustrating because I hate seeing my black ladies like this. But the second y'all get educated. I'm a PhD. You leave. You think you're better than us. And when we're like, babe, I know you got a degree in, <laughs> I know you got a degree in managing, but I mean, I mean, damn, that's enough for you to just walk away. That's enough for you to think you're better than me now. We're supposed to be building families, but y'all are so caught up in being better than black men that y'all don't get anything. And all you end up with is a... And then... You don't want that. That's, But it's all it is. How do we change this? And here's where I agree with the late, great Kevin Samuels. Here's where I agree with Medium Man. Nothing. There's nothing else black men can do. We have talked long enough. You black women gotta listen to other black women and there are other black women out there who are speaking against this bullshit of having us be seen as just sexual fucking animals. But y'all gotta listen. I mean, what else can you do? There's nothing going to save us. Change happens in the community when somebody decides to say, hey, that's enough. I mean, what do we, I mean, as much as I want to say it's the media's fault, but we are speaking against it. It's the only way black women can be seen as much more is if they start listening to the other black women who are saying, girl, just, y'all remember when Nick, I'm Nicky, <laughs> y'all remember when Monique came out and said, stop wearing bonnets? Stop wearing fucking bonnets. We're going to watch a video at some point that talks, there's a black woman on there talking about how <laughs> she got her own car. She got all of this shit and she don't need a man and all this stuff. She got it all together and we should, she shouldn't be trusting these black dudes out here on camera with a bonnet on. You know why that doesn't make any damn sense? Because you're talking like you're up here high class. You're fucking executive of a major company and you're wearing a bonnet on camera. Come on now. Come on now. I'm not saying you got to look all crazy. I'm not saying you got to look the best. But I don't understand this. Getting on camera. Your hair ain't done. Ain't nothing going on. And you got a bonnet on. And you're wearing a fucking white beater. Or whatever. White tank top. It's crazy to me. And they talk about how high class you are. That's the problem. Is this, this here's the thing, and you black women had it right. If you when a black man gets on there, he better look the part. If he says he starts talking about money, he better have money or look like he's got money. I okay, fair, but how come is no matter what a woman looks like, a black woman, no matter what she looks like on camera, whether she's wearing a bonnet, whether her hair ain't did, whether you can better even see her fucking face. It looks horrible. She's still seen as better than the black man because she pays her own fucking bills. I was talking to a young lady the other day. And I just find it amazing that when a woman is I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T, when she can pay for a car and her own house, she, she's a boss bitch. She's a queen. She could be driving a Honda Civic 2001 live in a studio apartment and talking about I got my own car and I got my own big but if any if any man came out and said hey I got a 2001 Honda Civic and I got a studio want to come back to my crib she gonna laugh right in your fucking face <laughs> no and I'm cool with that I'm perfectly fine with a woman who doesn't want to date a man who's struggling I have no problems but to say that you want to build our community and that black men are the reason that black women ain't seen this shit is absolutely asinine. It's asinine for black women to think it's black men's fault y'all aren't seen as anything. It's your own fucking fault at this point. We try to lift y'all up all the damn time. 
But every chance black women get to talk about black men is, well, I'm going to go date white men. No, you won't. They marry y'all at a less rate than they marry anybody. 0.5%, we just looked at the stats. If you didn't see it, go back in the video. 0.5%, they marry Asians and Hispanic at a higher rate than they ever marry black women. So let's not lie to ourselves and keep telling ourselves that y'all can go to white men. If it's true, go for it. But you know what you're going to end up with at the end of the day? There ain't going to be no white man, no black man, no Hispanic man, no Asian. It's going to be one thing. That's all you're ever going to have. And you know why? You know why it's sad? Is that this can all go away. If black women just said, did they just put their fucking ego down? Is that, hey, a black man is the man for me. What a beautiful life we can live. But no, no. we rather have babies out of wedlock and then delete our babies at a higher rate than anything. And I'm going to say something that you're really not going to like. The whole reason behind self-deleting of a baby, for lack of a better word, not self-deleting, but a deleting a, a black baby. You know what the word is. The whole reason was for black people to do that. They wanted to get rid of our race. And so they made baby deleting. And here we are, working like a fucking charm. You think that this was, you don't think this was all part of the plan to make us not want to be together? They will destroy the black community one by one. And all they have to do is get to our women. Now, you can't do that with other races of women because they're very loyal to the men because they refuse to talk shit. Because they want to keep their culture alive, at least the best they can. But it worked on us. Because it, wor it always works on somebody. It always does. Okay? We see all the agendas that are going around besides just stuff like this. But on this specific topic, <laughs> they got us right now. They got black women that hate black men. And every time they get educated, they leave us. So they've succeeded in that so far. But it doesn't have to end this way. May, will it take 20, 30, 40 years? May I be dead by the time I see any light? Yeah. But it's not going to keep me from talking about it. Because I don't want it to end this way. The way I want it to end is with us together. Making beautiful, beautiful black babies to keep it moving. Okay? But... If that doesn't happen, it must go on. And I don't know what will happen to the black community if we're just slowly diminished into a mixed race. Or will things turn around? Right now, we still got a chance because black men are still marrying black women. But slowly, that thing is starting to go away because more black women are starting to die alone, you know? All by themselves. Because they don't need a man. They don't need nobody. They're going to do their own thing. And I am telling you right now, for you people who think that it's, it's good to go out that way, it's fucking horrible and sad to see somebody who was never married die alone. Th and I know it's funny to say, it's funny to laugh at, but it's really sickening. Can you imagine somebody going their whole life Maybe getting married and then getting divorced over petty reasons and then dying by themselves for the because it's not like they just die alone. And it's just whatever. We're talking about somebody who for the last 20 years of their life had nobody. Cause it gets ugly at the end, people. At the end, it gets ugly. That picture I showed of an older woman, that ain't what it looks like. It gets ugly at the end. I'm talking about. You know how it goes. Your body starts to fail you. You have a hard time breathing. You can't wipe your own ass no more. It's just pain all the way down if you die a natural death. It's just pain for like the last 10 years. And in those last three years, it's literally your fucking body dying. And you're all by yourself. No kids are going to see you. Nobody. Maybe your sister's kids going to come see you. Maybe if they give a fuck. 
But it's gonna be you. No pic. There's gonna be no pictures of you and your husband on the wall. No pictures of you and your husband and kids. Maybe some kids at a wedlock, but ain't gonna be no pictures of you and your husband. No pictures at the family reunion. It's just gonna be you. And maybe a couple of kids that they come see you. You didn't get to live out no memories with nobody. All you ever did was raise kids. Because no man was ever good enough for you. Because y'all keep listening to this damn music. Y'all keep worrying about fucking so much. Oh my gosh. You think Sexy Red was just some random ass girl who got famous off of one dumb ass song? No. Sex. And fucking. And I'm saying fucking because there ain't no intimacy in this bullshit. They've got us fooled into being fucking raven animals. Our community is the worst about it. All our black women ever talk about is fucking. Black men, black women sound like black men now. Talk about getting ahead and getting flying out of man, getting a little dick and then moving on. Fucking has ruined our community. Because sex is, I mean, it's, and sex is a beautiful thing between a married man and a married woman. Obviously married to each other. Between a wife and a husband. But today, it ain't the same. But let me, let me, let me calm back down. Let's, 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 let's lighten the show back up. I'm, I'm done ranting. I'm trying to be more peaceful now. Because I want to see love. I want to see black love again. And it's really hard to do because we made it impossible to do so. We don't value children. Children are just seen as, you know, it's crazy. Because it, our black, single motherhood in the black community with our black women is so held in such high esteem. If y'all forgot there was that one basketball player, they said, man, don't you think it's kind of, how hard do you think it is to play a professional sport? He said, this isn't hard. Being hard is being a single black woman. I mean, no, being a single mother. It's like, what? (laughs) Being a single black woman (laughs) who has a kid is not the same as playing professional basketball. That's not the same thing. Those aren't the same hard. To be the top .001% athlete in the world and keep yourself in shape to continue to be a .001% athlete in the world it's, I'm sorry, it's not as hard as, it's, it's a lot harder than being a single mother. I'm sorry. But instead of encouraging marriage or going against single motherhood, they don't even try to fix it. All we ever get told is that, well, it's the black men's fault. They're fucking it all up. They're screwing it all up. So as much as I would love to agree with you, Miss Tony, in the bullshit that you spew, talking about it's self-hatred, that is, that is such, that's asinine. I don't think you're an idiot, because I think you're a very smart woman, but that means you've been brainwashed to the fullest to think that black men are dating white women at a higher rate than we're already dating our own women or marrying our own women because of self-hatred. You've been brainwashed, baby girl, and you've been fooled. And you're going to go out here and think you can get a white man or think you don't want to date a black man because we hate ourselves. You dumb, dumb fool. Now, I don't mean dumb as in like, once again, I think you're idiotic, but I do think you're a fool. You fell for it. You're a clown. Now they got you parading your ass around on YouTube, spreading lies. Look at you, just laughing at you. Just laughing at you. <laughs> just saying, look at that dumb fool. She gonna do it for us. She thinks that black men are the problem. Yes! And then you gonna get your dog. And now. Uh, Tony, it's been a pleasure. And I hope we never Now, black men, you're not off the hook. Your time is coming. 